Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And I've been getting a few requests from some of you guys on the DMs to do some power bank reviews on some, some better value units. So I've managed to get my hands on the new one, the brand new one from All Powers. We did do the 2000 unit from them a little while ago, and that's the unit I took up to the Cape trip. I'll link that video in the description down below. But we've managed to get our hands on the brand new one. This is the R1500. It's not too big, it's not too small. It could be just right. We're gonna do a full overview. We're gonna give it a bit of a test on some induction cooking, my new favorite thing, and, and a few other things. So without further ado, let's get started. So if we have a bit of a look around the unit, it is quite a smart looking thing, I reckon. It is nice and squared out, and everything is kind of integrated into the one shape. You've got big carry handles that are up underneath. I really like those. You've got some sort of some green sort of camo stuff going on here. I really like the color scheme. Nice and, uh, nice and simple, nice and sleek. On the sides, you have all of your inputs on the one spot. We have the sort of the all-in-one, as well as our 240. On the front is where all the action happens. Here's all of our outputs. We've got both of our DC outputs and our AC and our awesome looking screen we'll dive into that in a second around this side you do have a couple of expander ports they've got these little cool little press in press out and there's all your ports going on in there so i really like the way that's nice and easily accessible some other power banks they they make it impossible to get in uh, so that's really cool more venting and then around the back is your specs on the base you've got a couple of little feet look a little bit like that and on the top this is awesome you've got two wireless charging ports they're 15 watts each and uh, i reckon that is a, a a really nice addition now if we check out what comes with there is no bag unfortunately that comes with but still really well packed you have all of your booklet with your warranty details where you can register online and activate that cool little carry bag like the s2000 and in here all of your charge cables the main one is this sucker i really like that like i said last time all power bank manufacturers need to get on this train no power bricks here this is your standard connector you can get anywhere that will charge you 240. there is no car charger that comes with or solar unless you get the full solar kit that comes with and the solar we'll check that out in a minute then you get that cable so you will need to get a car charger separately so that's everything that comes with now if we check out all of the business end at the front here so we've got all of the usual suspects one of the big things that all powers is absolutely nailing is this screen i reckon it is pretty awesome really good visibility from different angles here like you can see we have got some some nice sort of charging logos on the side everything on the top here telling you what's going on inputs outputs tells you what hertz rate your 240 is running at and then your approximate hours to either recharge in our case we've got the solar panels all plugged in there so we're getting some some charge in and then we're charging our laptop through our pd charger here at the front so now the big difference with this guy is it is the lifo 4 so that means it is the updated battery chemistry they are rating this guy to get you about 3,000 cycles before you're down to about an 80 percent capacity so obviously you can get more than the 3,000. it just means that from the 1152 watt hours that the thing comes out of the box with you're going to be at about that 80 percent mark so like i've talked about the other batteries that is in an insane amount of usage if you think about a full cycle that's a full discharge full charge up you would have to do that every single day for about 10 years full discharge full recharge for about 10 years before the thing even drops to about that 80 percent capacity and then i mean god knows how long it's going to last up that so battery chemistry is life before that's the one you want now from our outputs perspective like we looked at there before we are charging it does have two 100 watt USB-C chargers, so perfect for charging laptops and those kinds of devices. You do have some other USB-A's here at the top. They're good for 18 watts each. You do have a single cigarette lighter plug there. So things like fridges, that sort of stuff is going to be working fine in there. That's up to your 10 amps. And then the main sucker here is all of, you basically have a power board at the front. They have these really cool rubber uh, weather, sort of weatherproof, I guess you could say, little plugs off the top here, little covers. I really like those because they are dead simple. You just pull them up and get them off. There's no need to sort of finagle your fingers underneath or anything like that. So they're really awesome. And you got four of, so that is pretty cool. The AC output is 1800 watts. So that's why this is such a good middle of the road unit. It's gonna be able to run induction cookers like we'll look at in a second and all the bits and bobs with some good capacity. So four of those, no need for power boards. It's all built in. And then the other thing to look at just before we get onto some doing some tests is the app. This is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and it has the same app that we saw on the S2000, which is, which is pretty awesome. It allows you to fully control the blowing away here fully control the actual unit directly from the app so you could you could actually hide this underneath something and fully control it 
uh, all via the app, which is pretty cool. It gives you a bit of a, an overview of power in, how long remaining, and your input, output, and that kind of jazz. So pretty awesome, pretty awesome integration. Now, if we get stuck into some testing, charging wise, we've been having a look at that. We do have the solar panels that came with, that's the solar charger version there, the 200 watt panels. The side is just a simple plug in that way, and we can see the input direct on the screen. The other option is the car charge, and that I've just sort of jerry-rigged, because you do have to grab one of those separately, the XT62, a normal sort of, uh, where have we got here, just on the back of the store mod, a normal, uh, normal little cigarette lighter plug. We're just jerry-rigged it in through here using one of these, so it'll work. That's the beauty, I guess, of the XT60s. So I can plug that in, make sure we're turned on there. And in a second here, we'll start to see some input will come up on the screen. There we go, we're starting to, to wind up there. You will get that sort of 10 amps at 100 watts odd. So it should go up to about that, 93 odd. And I will call it, call it 100. We're pretty, we're pretty close, maxing about that 98. We have a look on this side here on our little screen here. We are solar charging on the top of the uh, storm mod here as well, but you can see we're drawing about seven amps minus whatever's coming in from the top. So pretty good. We've got a couple options there for putting power in. With our AC, it is a fast charge there, so you can charge this unit up really, really fast, which is awesome if you forget to charge it just before a trip. I reckon let's get straight into doing some AC testing. We've seen all the DC stuff before and the same sort of story there on the cigarette lighter plug. So from here, I reckon these, this is my new favorite thing, induction cooking. So we've got a little cooktop here. This thing does go to 2000 watts, so we'll give it a bit of work at boiling some water there. And then we've got our standard H2O frother happening there as well. So let's start loading this thing up and see how we go. So here we go, we've got our little frother here. We'll get that going You can see the little red light. We can see some action stations going on inside there. And we can see there's our 500 going out, no worries at all. We've got our little induction cooktop here as well. So let's uh, get that going. There we go, we're at 1200. Now I don't think that means 1200 watts because it's, it's only a GP. But uh, there we go, we're drawing about the, uh, about the 1200, 1300 watt mark with them both cooking along there. Looks like we just dropped down, so that must mean our frother is all done there. All nice and froth water. And then if we have a look here on our induction cooktop, I've gone max there. Like I said, I, it just seems to, it seems to max out. But we are drawing about that 800 watt mark. And while we're at 70%, it looks like you could do that for a good two hours at least. We are recharging here as well. We've got some power going in, so we're offsetting that a little bit. But there you go. So can comfortably run an induction cooktop and you can go all the way up to the 1800 watts as well as if you had a, a probably a better, a better quality stove and you needed to draw some more power. So. That is pretty awesome to see. So there you go, guys. As we start to boil there, hopefully that gives you a good bit of an idea about the new one from All Powers. That's the R1500. As with all of my videos, I'll make sure I put a link down below on where you can pick one of these up if you decide this is for you and you're in the market. I'll make sure I link it down below in the video description. The big summary for me for this guy is it is not too big, it's not too small, and it has all of the bits and pieces that you need. I think the 1000 watt hour mark is about spot on for the couple of day trip away, that kind of thing, and a bit of home battery back up. Things like the UPS switch over and that kind of thing makes it perfect for multiple of uses, which is awesome. This one with the 1152, a little bit more capacity, and the power board on the front here, nice and simple, and those wireless chargers are a nice touch as well. So that's all for this one, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.